Oh, yeah! Well, let's go to the ring for our next match for our main event of the evening. But before we get started with that main event, we get a promo from Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss, and Asuka. And then damage control come down. This is when Bianca tells us that we will find out who the fifth member of her War Games team is on SmackDown this Friday. You got any words before we get into this match? A, I found it weird that a baby face is telling that home crowd that we're not going to tell you. <laughs> I, th- I thought that was a really weird uh, decision on their part because um, they instantly booed her. So that was I think odd. this. Th- this is, it gets sticky when you get these, these networks have their hands in, yes. in the pots like this. Yeah. You know, cause you but, know, it's probably a star that smack, you know, smack that Fox is like, we want right. this star to be on SmackDown. Right. And we all know, in my opinion, who the prediction is going to be. Uh, I fully anticipate it being Sasha Banks because I think this is her time to return. It's at Boston Garden and then add on top of it, SmackDown needs a baby face star. Right now, they really are lacking on women's star power. So, I I am all in that this is Sasha Banks. Absolutely. I, I'm 99% convinced it, it is Sasha Banks as well. Who else would it be? Like you said, it's in Boston. Well, let's move on to our next match, which is Asuka versus Rhea Ripley. For the War Games Advantage. Rob, do you want to tell them what the War Games Advantage is? So, for those of you that have never seen War Games, how the match works is it's going to start with uh, one member from each team in the ring. And then, I don't know if they're doing three minutes or five minutes, but every, let's just say it's five minutes. Every five minutes, the clock will run down. And once it gets to zero, a new member is going to come in. But not from both teams. Only from one team. And so, the War Games Advantage means that the team that wins the advantage they are going to get their extra member first. So throughout the match, you're going to get a two-on-one advantage, and then eventually you'll get a three-on-two advantage, then a four-on-three, five-on-four, and then finally the five-on-five. Now, how the match is going to end is it cannot end until all members of each team are in the ring, and then after that, pinfalls or submissions, and it's just the first team to get a pinfall or submission wins on any member. Well, let's talk about the match real quick. Rhea brutalized Asuka during this match. Asuka fought back hard, and these two had a decent back and forth, each attempting submissions. And just when Asuka had some momentum built up, and Rhea locked up in a submission hold, damage control appears ringside. But so does Bianca, Belair, and Alexa Bliss. But it doesn't matter, because Rhea Ripley wins after hitting the Riptide, and a brawl out ensues. After the match with Mia Yim coming out to join, they all take each other out in the show. Rob, what are your thoughts about this match? So tonight was a WrestleMania rematch night, I assume, because this is another rematch that we had. Uh, this match was better than their Mania match, too, actually. So I thought this was a really, really fun match. Uh, one of the spots in here I loved this was just brutal, uh, very hard, uh, strong style, but Ripley hit a headbutt and then followed it right up with a northern light suplex and it was just it, it was very just new japan watching it, it was very very brutal you don't see that i'm gonna say shimmer because you don't see that a lot in women's wrestling except for over in japan so i really really liked that a lot very typical booking of a advantage match because more often than not you want to have the heels have this two on one advantage because that gives sympathy sympathy on the babyface team. I think we're going to see something different with the bloodline of brutes, but we'll talk about that on Friday. So, uh but overall the match was excellent. Then of course everyone's got to beat up everyone. You got to really give that idea that war is coming on uh this Saturday. So for a final match going into the pay-per-view and a final segment for just breaking out in complete bedlam. This was a, a, a wonderful, wonderful segment, and I am with you where these two women put on themselves a heck of a match, and I hope we get them later down the road for something a little bit bigger stakes. Thank you for listening to Cream of the Crop Wrestling. You can embrace the madness by finding us on Facebook at facebook.com slash cream of the crop wrestling. Follow us on Twitter at cream of the crop w. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by typing cream of the crop wrestling in the search bar. 
Have fun with us on TikTok at Cream of the Crop Wrestling. And you can always find full episodes of the podcast wherever podcasts are found. Nothing means nothing. Man. Nothing means nothing. What do you mean by that? Or I'm talking about all the way to the top. Yeah. Unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in. But the cream will rise to the top. Oh, yeah. You know that I'm the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. Oh, yeah.